Hey everybody, welcome back to another PTZ Optics Hive tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link an IP joystick controller to control PTZ cameras from anywhere in the world. Let's jump into it. So I'm going to start by showing Hive and I'm going to walk you through the setup here. It's very simple. Uh, there is a new section of Hive called controllers. And in this controllers section, we have a couple options for adding IP joystick controllers and connecting game pads as well. So I'm going to walk you through the process of adding a PTZ Optics Super Joy to Hive. And then I'm going to show you controlling cameras in my studio. And then I'm going to show you controlling cameras from a remote location in Ohio in the United States. So this is going to be really cool. So let's start by clicking the add IP joystick button here. And what this is going to do is it's going to create an IP address and port number that we can add into our um, PTZ Optics Super Joy. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up my Super Joy and enter this information in. So let's go ahead and go into my SuperJoy. I'm going to log in to my SuperJoy with the IP address. Uh, this is the basically way that it's the easiest to add cameras into uh, the PTZ Optics SuperJoy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in this IP address and this port number right here. And by adding a port number, basically what you do is you put colon and the port there like that actually i'm sorry you put the port number right here the control port apologize there we go let's just copy that one more time here we go copy that goes into there this port number is five one one zero zero so i'll just type in five one one zero zero hit save now what this does is it connects the ptz optics super joy to PTZ Optics Hive. So now if I go to my two box here, what's going to happen is I need to issue a command from the SuperJoy and I have to be on camera one, which is the, the IP address there. And now we can see it's successful. Okay, so we've made a successful connection to Hive. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and finish. Now my IP joystick is connected to Hive. And what happens here is now when I turn my joystick, it's going to control the cameras in my studio. So I can control camera one, I can control camera two, I can control camera three, all from my joystick. And you can see it's instantaneous. The speed is great. So one of the things you'll notice is that I'm on my local area network. Okay, so Hive is in local mode. I'm not going over the cloud. So the question I know on a lot of our customers' minds is, What's the latency like controlling a camera that's not on your local area network? One that is remote to you, one that is quite far away, right? So that's what we're going to do. Now, in PTZ Optics Hive, one of the things you probably have seen at this point is that you can have multiple studios that you can jump in and out of. So multiple classrooms, multiple sports stadiums and courts. And Stephen Haywood, our partnership manager, has an awesome studio in Ohio where he lives, where he's got some really cool cameras coming in. And if we look at these cameras, just to give you an idea, they're coming in via NDI. So I wanted to show this really quickly, how these cameras are connected. So they're coming in via NDI into Hive. It, they're at high bandwidth mode, 30 frames a second. So these are really good looking cameras. I think they're in 1920 by 1080 and the bit rate is 4,000. Um, so these cameras are coming into Hive remotely. And now what I want to do is I want to control them with my SuperJoy. Now, one of the things I'm going to have to do is as I go into here, I'm going to have to connect my controller again. It's very easy to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my controller. And what we'll see is that I just have to go ahead and hit continue and make sure my SuperJoy is connected one time really quickly. And now it's in. And boom, I'm controlling. This camera is not in my studio, right? This camera is remote 
to my studio. Steven has such a cool space here. Uh, this is his arcade machines. So this is showing how to control an NDI camera that's remote, one that is far away from me. This is hundreds and hundreds of miles away, and you can, we can kind of play around in Steven's studio. Now, I can still obviously use the Hive tools that are available for controlling cameras with a keyboard and mouse, obviously. But when you're following someone in sports, when you're doing something, you know, a little bit more, you know, normal in a production environment, going left and right to follow someone or a subject, using a joystick is much more intuitive. It gives you a much more tactile, finer uh, experience here. So I just wanted to show how this works, how to add these IP joystick controllers into Hive and you can use any IP joystick that works with Visca. So this will work with PTZ Optics IP Joy G4. It of course works with the Super Joy. And this allows you to control cameras that aren't just on your local area network, but anywhere in the world. And you can see just how quickly, if we do this two box one more time, just to show how quickly and easily the latency, uh, it's very usable, it's very responsive to the controls. So just wanted to show that and give you guys an idea of how to use IP joystick controllers with PTZ Optics Hive. All right, I'll see you in the next tutorial video.